Welcome to the poop factory of the world, or at least of my Anno 1800 empire. With the first DLC of Season 4 in April 2022, they launched the fertilizer concept. Dung is produced in your animal farms and then with fertilizer works, a sort of the factory that you can see here on the screen, it is transformed into fertilizer that you can use on your farms in the new world but also in the other regions. The Anno team has actually already announced that they're going to change the production time of this factory because currently it is 5 minutes. But before they do so, I thought it would still be great to show you the mega island that I created to produce tons of fertilizer to be used everywhere in the world. I'm Strat Gamer covering city building, simulations, strategy games with game reviews, guides, let's plays. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't hesitate to press the red button below to subscribe. They never miss another video and you really help support the channel. Okay, so as I said, today we're going to look at this Minmax island, which is producing tons of fertilizer, but also many other things. This is part of my current series where we're trying to get as many investors as possible in skyscrapers, but without Dockland, which means we do need to produce basically everything. And that's why an island like this is quite important. The first thing that this island is producing is a lot of alpaca wool. You can see here in this trade union, plus here there's one more. With these three items to really get a very high productivity, they each provide plus 70%. We of course also have the silo and the origin of mankind and the plus 50% to really get them going as much as possible. But you can see they're also producing dung, the rate of one out of three cycle, thanks to the fertilizer works that are put around it. Why around it? I've managed to fit a lot of fertilizer works by putting the hacienda actually in the middle. The hacienda is in the middle of all of those alpaca farms and because we have a population higher than 1000, we have a maximum radius of 40 and that way, as you can see, we can cover a lot of space to have fertilizer works all around because the dung production is linked not to the number of fertilizer work, but to the number of alpaca farms that are covered. So with all of those guys here, I'm covering those farms. With all of those guys here, I'm covering those farms. With these ones here and these ones over here. So again, I'll repeat, having two fertilizer work here actually doesn't change the dung production of this. What changed dung production is having one here and then one there. All of those fertilizer work are also fully boosted with items. You can see a number of trade unions, one here, one there. They all have the same items and the same all around. And they all provide plus 50%. The double redundancy plus 50%, Ferras plus 50%, and the Thielman tube plus 50%. So of course, these alpaca farms are here to produce the dung that's directly delivered into the fertilizer works. But that's not all. I also use them for felt. Because if you go completely to the other side of the island here, we have another trade union with a lot of pearl producers. They have different items, those two to reduce the workforce while increasing the productivity by a lot and ferras to once again increase the productivity by quite a lot. All of these do need a lot of journaleros. They are not zero population. In particular, the Hacienda Fertilizer Works have 36 journaleros per building and as you can see, I have quite a few of them which is why we have this population here in the middle covered pretty well by town halls. As you can see, there's very few houses, like two here, one here, one that are not covered. Using these items for a couple of reasons. First one is that they increase the workforce by a lot. For example, this one plus 40%, this one plus 50%. And lastly, Dr. Mercier's Anarchy poster is only plus 25%, but it also has a chance of riots minus 100% which is really useful because as, as you saw, I've put plus 50% productivity on all of the building and, be, and of course that increases the chance of riots. So having this one covering all of the people makes that, you know, I don't need so much police stations, fire station and hospitals. I also have a lot of fish oil factories, six over here and 10 on the other side. It's not really for the fish oil, it's for the tallow and for the gold that we get thanks to those two items here. And on top of that, this island is fully self-sustainable. I don't need to send anything to that island. Everything works perfectly. Let's take a look. By pressing Ctrl Q, you get into your statistic menu. We're now looking at the consumable. 
As you can see, I'm producing directly on the island the ram, the fried plantain, and the ponchos needed with just a few buildings I'll show you after. We're producing locally the wood that's needed for the ram, producing locally again the banana, the sugarcane, and the corn that's needed for all of those productions. And on top of that, as we mentioned before, there's the fish oil, the alpaca, almost 300 the dung and the fertilizer. So yes, the fertilizer works, as you can see, 138 buildings to produce 70 per minute. Ubisoft have confirmed once again that they will decrease the production time, so you'll need definitely less buildings in the future to make 70, but you can see this is still possible, and 70 is huge, right? With that, you can definitely have a lot of farms. And as you can see, this production has been perfect at 70 since I started it. And then lastly, as we said, tallow and gold, important tallow for the biscuits, the gold for the jewelry and the pocket watches. And then lastly, the felt that I need for my toys and billiard tables. And as I mentioned, we're producing everything locally. You can see here the plantain production. Don't hesitate to share in the comments below if you have any thoughts, questions, suggestions. Also, if you have requests for future videos, I'd love to hear about it. And if this video was useful or entertaining, don't hesitate to smash the like button before you leave. And I hope to see you next time.